Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know, Deloitte NLA preparation series is going on on our YouTube channel Code Bashers. And in this particular video, we will be discussing the latest cloud MCQs, which you should prepare before you give the Deloitte exam. Okay. And guys, if you want to see previous videos in which we have covered different different topics, you can check out this playlist. Okay. In this this playlist link, I will give you in the I button. After watching this video, do check out these videos as well because every question we are discussing in these videos can be helpful and can be repeated in your exam also. Okay, and before moving ahead, guys, do join this Telegram group because regularly we are providing an update on different different companies. All the students are of 2025 batch here on this Telegram group, and the discussions on different different companies are going on continuously. So make sure to join this Telegram group. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel so that you get the updates of future videos okay so if you have done all these things now let's start this video and make sure to watch this video till the end okay so guys the first question is which cloud deployment model involves multiple cloud service providers working together so if you will see the option here you can clearly see that there is a hybrid cloud option there so it is straightforward if we have multiple cloud working together it is a hybrid cloud okay so I hope now this is clear to you public cloud and private cloud again there are separate entities but for this question the hybrid cloud is the correct answer. Next question is what is the region in the context of cloud computing. So what happens is that there are regions present like if you will log in into AWS you will see that there is a Mumbai region there is a Australia Melbourne region there is a Sydney region also. So what are these regions. So these regions are nothing but the data center where actual servers are present. So a physical data center location where actual servers are present it is known as a region here because see AWS we know that everything is on the cloud but at some some place these the um, the information will be stored in the hard disk or somewhere. So these are known as data centers and this is what represents a region in the cloud computing okay. Next question is what is the purpose of hypervisor in cloud computing. So hypervisor is nothing but it used to create virtual machine and manage them. So hypervisor is used to manage and create virtual machines. Okay. So I hope this question is clear to you. Okay. So guys on our top mid page of code bashers we have Deloitte NLA preparation material also. So if you do not know from where you should prepare for your exam then this preparation material can be helpful for you. If you will open this material you will find that it, there are total seven pdfs that you will be getting inside this preparation material all these pdfs are corresponding to different different sections that will be coming in your exam so the questions in these pdfs in these respective pdfs are from the previous year deloitte exams only so if you will open any of these pdfs let me just show you the sample let's suppose this apti pdf you open so you will see that we have proper question options answer and explanation for it okay similarly for the coding also we have question and code Similarly for the cloud PDFs also we have question options and answers plus explanation also. So if you do not know from where to prepare okay this material can be very much beneficial for you okay it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99 and a coupon code of 15% is also available on this channel. The, all the description all the information regarding this you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment and also if you want preparation material for different different companies also so we are providing a package also in which we are providing Infosys, Capgemini, Accenture, TCS, NQT, Deloitte NLA preparation material in that package. This package will be beneficial for you and 15% coupon code is applicable on this package also. So all the relevant details I will put in the description box. If you want to prepare for any of these companies do check them out. Next is what is the primary advantage of edge computing in cloud services. So what first of all what is edge computing. So guys let's suppose this is a user here. Now he wants to access YouTube. Let's suppose YouTube he wants to access. Now the main YouTube servers are located in USA. Okay. So if a request from India will go to USA and then again a response will be coming from those servers. So this will increase the latency that is the loading time of your application will increase. So what are edge servers? Edge servers are country wise like what you will do you will place an edge server in between here okay. So if any request now if a user hits YouTube this request will go to edge server and edge server will give you the response. So basically this edge service server behaves as a cache. So it will take the content uh, 
from USA actual server and will store it in inside itself and when a user request comes based on that it will serve the content here so this is a basically ad server is basically used for caching purpose you can see here so the answer will be reduced latency and faster processing this is what edge computing is done okay next is which protocol is commonly used for transferring files to and fro from the cloud so we add the name suggest it will be ftp file transfer protocol okay this is the correct answer guys i hope this question is also clear to you next question is which cloud service model is most suitable for developers who want to build deploy and manage applications without dealing the complexity of infrastructure okay so they do not want to uh, go into the complexity of infrastructure just they want to build their product deploy there and the manage application so for this if you will see if you want only these things then there should be a platform where you can just go and deploy your projects irrespective of the fact but what the infrastructure is so therefore the this type of service is known as platform as a service okay now if you want to know that what is the infrastructure you want to change the infrastructure based on your needs then you can go for infrastructure as a service also okay in that case infrastructure as a service will be used and where the so software as a service will be used it will be used like there is there like you have maintain you have built a software and you have given that software to some company and now you are supporting that software so this is what software as a service is there okay so i hope now this is clear to you next is what does the term elasticity refers to in the cloud computing so in general terms what elasticity is so if there is a rubber here so we can expand this rubber like this we can expand this server like this so it means we can scale this scale the rubber so the ability to scale resources up or down based on demand so if we have large dump, uh, huge demand then we can increase the server uh, server uh, configurations we can increase the infrastructure we can increase the number of pods this is what the elasticity is okay so the ability to scale resources up or down based on the demand okay i hope it's clear to you next is what is cloud service level agreement now what is a service level agreement as the name suggests it is a agreement that is done between the cloud and the service provider okay so it can be it is a legal document yes it is a legal document it is uh, and it guarantees performance also so if you are uh, if you have basic knowledge of cloud you must be knowing that there is some percentage that okay this service will be available 99% of time this service will be available 99.9% .9 of the time okay so this but this is this is sla okay this is a service level agreement we are giving to the user that okay you are using this service and this will be available this much time so a performance guarantee you can say here okay a legal document you can also say but more uh, precise will be a performance guarantee okay i hope now this question is clear to you next is what is the main advantage of serverless computing in cloud computing what is the main advantage first is elimination of server now most of you will hear the term serverless and you will say elimination of server no see in serverless computing also servers are used but they are not managed by you they are managed by aws instead so if you you are deploying a service on a particular server and you are saying that it is a serverless it means that the servers are being managed by the provider not by the customer next is enhanced security okay serverless it can enhance security next is improved scalability and reduced cost so serverless are used for this purpose scalability increases and cost also reduces okay increase network latency no enhanced security might be but not in this case elimination of server no improved scalability and reduced cost okay what is the primary advantage of using public cloud service what is the primary advantage so uh, multiple users are using public cloud service okay let's suppose this user is using r1 resource 1 this user is using resource 2 this is using resource 3 now this is the fourth user now if this user 1 has done with the usage of resource 1 it means that resource 1 will have now been it is idle now this user 4 can go to r1 and can use this service so what is what is the benefit shared infrastructure and cost saving okay it is not uh, uh, guaranteed that if there will be four users then four servers or four infrastructure is required if one user has used this infrastructure and now it is idle 
then user 4 can reuse this server so this is what a public model can do okay next is what is the role of cloud architect in the cloud computing so cloud architect the, the name suggests it is used to design and oversee the implementation of cloud system okay so i hope this question is also clear to you so guys these are all the questions that i needed to discuss in this video okay more videos regarding uh, different different sections networking okay cyber security will be coming in future but if you want again for cloud computing again you want more videos you can write in the comment section i will be happy to make it okay and if you are preparing for deloitte nla exam then again i'm reminding you you can check out this preparation material of deloitte wherein all the all the sections are included and all the practice questions are there in this material and it in a well structured manner so if you if you want to buy it idle you can uh, you can buy it at 99 rupees and if you wish to uh, buy other companies preparation material also then you can check out this package okay in which all companies preparation material are there and uh, it will be slightly less costlier for you okay and a coupon code also you can check out in the description box so guys this for it for this video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel make sure to join the telegram group the links are in the description box thank you for watching this video